And it was at that point that a proportion of the male rats developed bladder cancers. Follow-up studies using rhesus macaques, mice, and looking at human data have demonstrated that saccharin is not related to cancer in humans at all, and so the ban was lifted. But ultimately, that stigma related to saccharin has actually transferred to other artificial sweeteners. At Fly Rodu asks, how do we know that supplements work? Is there any real research on all these supplements that exist, e.g. athletic greens, etc.? So in the United States alone, the dietary supplement industry is worth nearly 160 billion dollars. Unlike FDA approved medications, supplements do not have to prove that they are helping or offering a benefit. A lot of people may take powdered vitamin C and mix it into their water when they feel like they have a cold or a flu coming on. Vitamin C supplementation doesn't reduce the duration of respiratory illnesses. It doesn't lessen the severity of them. It doesn't prevent them 